Hi there, Saki here from Saki Tech. In today's video, I want to give you a complete list of tips, tricks, and features for the enhanced iMessage app for iOS 10. So let's dive right in and discover all the new enhancements right away. So let's talk about the enhanced notification view. So basically, let me send myself a text message. Uh, let's say test. And when I do send this, you're gonna get a banner notification. And from here, if you pull down, this is the enhanced notification from where which you can respond to the notification without actually launching iMessages. Now, once you actually respond to the um, text message, you can continue to have a conversation within this enhanced notification window. And when you're done, you can simply go back home. Now in the past, when somebody did send you a message, let's do that one more time. And when you pulled it down, you could have still responded to them in iOS 9. You can simply say something and click send. But as soon as you send the message, this box disappears, okay? But in iOS 10, you can continue to have the conversation right through the notification without having to launch iMessage. And of course, on top of that, you have a lot of enhancements in iMessage. So let's go into messages and let's just uh, tap this arrow button. This arrow button is going to give you three options. So you get the camera icon, you get the sketch icon, and you get the app store icon. Now my favorite is in fact the camera. If you tap this, it actually brings up the camera and the phone is currently laying flat on the surface so you cannot see this, but the camera is in fact in live mode, okay? As you can see. Now from here, you can take a picture by tapping this icon and then the photo is gonna go into your uh, send box and from here you can send this photo directly to your friend. This is the quickest way to take a photo and send it right to your friends in a text messaging application. And furthermore, you can actually tap this picture and that's gonna allow you to actually add markups or allow you to edit the photo. So if you go to markup, basically what you can do is you can draw circles around this thing and once you draw the circle, you can tap this icon and that's going to transform the imperfect circle into a perfect circle. So you can actually highlight things. You can move this circle around. You can change the color for the circle and then you can actually write something. So you can tap T here and that allows you to have this text icon. You can resize, you can move and using this method of taking a picture and marking the picture up, you can communicate much better. When you're done with your markup, you can simply click save and click done and then you can send that photo over, okay? And just to give an example of what I can use this uh, for is if I scroll down a little bit, here's a photo that I did a markup. I basically circled one corner of the keyboard and I said, use this. But you get the idea how you can actually use this marking up utility as an amazing communication tool. And of course, that's not over. So let's take one more picture. Uh, let's tap on the picture and let's go back into markup and from here another option you have is in addition to being able to add circles you can actually send your personal signature via a text message and you can actually tap this icon right here and this is going to allow you to make a signature you click done and that signature is now sitting let's make that white right over there and you can put it right at the bottom you can click save and you can send this down just like I sent the other one, okay? So let's say you wanna edit this thing even further. You can tap this photo and you can click edit and that brings up the regular editor that allows you to do all kinds of things to this photo. So you can add effects by going over here. As you can see, here's a list of effects. As a matter of fact, let's get out of here for a minute. Let's uh, cancel this, uh, cancel. Let's click X. If you want to actually not send the photo you just took, you can tap X. So you do have the option to preview the photo before you send it over. Let's pick a photo from the gallery. So you get the live camera view here. As you can see, that's a live camera, okay? But next to it, it's gonna actually access your gallery. So if I tap a picture from here, it goes right over there. And let's tap on the picture. Let's click Edit. And if I tap the Effects tab, as you can see, I can add different effects right from this edit window. So click done. Let's click done one more time. 
and then you can send this photo right over. And of course, there's even more. They did a really good job with giving really powerful tools in the iMessaging application. If you tap this icon right over here, again, when you press the camera, it disappears. If you press it again, it comes right up. If you scroll over, you can actually access the camera from here, which is going to bring the full camera for your pleasure. And uh, when you're done, you just click cancel. Uh, actually, if you want to take a photo, you press this. And it's not going to focus. There we go. We took a picture, same situation, go back. And if you just want to go to the photo library, you can tap this. Okay. And from there, you can grab what you need. So that's the camera tool in the iMessages. Now, next up, let's go to the sketching tool. So if you tap this guy, it brings up the sketching tool. And from here, it's very simple. You can sketch some personal messages and you can send them right over to your friends. Now, in the bottom here, it's going to say not delivered. The reason it's not being delivered to the other iPhone that I'm sending this to is because the other iPhone is running on iOS 9. So make sure the other person that you're trying to send these personal messages to also have iOS 10 installed. Otherwise, it's not going to work. This is the message you're going to get. Okay, so there's a couple other things you can do with the sketching application. You can change to any color. So let's go to this color right over here, orange color. And now if I sketch, it's going to sketch in orange and it's going to send it over automatically when your sketching is done. The other thing you can do is if you press and hold, you can actually send this effect right over. If you press and hold with two fingers, you can actually send a heart over. Alrighty. And then if you tap this arrow icon here, you can get the full screen version of the sketching application. So again, if you go like this and once you're ready, you can tap this blue icon and that's going to send the message over. Now, remember, if you just sketch right over here, it automatically sends the message over. But if you go to the full screen mode and if you sketch, you actually have the option to press this button, which is then going to send the image over after you're done editing it. Fantastic. All right. So let me show you one more thing. If you go into the full screen mode over here for the sketching application at the bottom, here is a tiny camera icon. If you tap this, it's going to bring up the uh, front facing camera. Okay. And what you can do is you can actually take a picture or record a video. And as you do any of those, you can add sketching effects on top of it. So let me take a picture. After I take the picture, I can actually do a sketch and I can send this picture over to a friend or a family member or whoever. And uh, let's uh, go to the full screen, tap this and let's record a video. So I can be recording a video and I can be sketching at the same time. And when you press stop, you can send this video over and that video is going to go straight to your friend and they will be able to play the video right on their iMessaging application as long as they have iOS 10 running. Now, it is very clear to me that there's a lot you can do with the iMessaging application. And to be honest, it looks more than just fancy features. It actually is very useful and practical, especially this camera feature that you can just take a picture, you can add markups and you can send it to your friends. Uh, you can highlight a location. So let's say you take a picture of a statue. Uh, you can circle the head and you can mark up right under that head saying, hey, look at this head. It's gorgeous. All right. So the final icon over here is the application store icon. If you tap this icon, it's going to bring this thing over here. One more time, you have this arrow button here. If you tap it, it takes you to the full screen. But basically what this allows you to do, and you can scroll through different things right over here. Okay. What it allows you to do is share stuff with people. So right now I'm listening to a music from YouTube. If I want to share this with my friend, I can simply tap it and it's going to send that right to my friend. And he, if he has iOS 10, he can start to listen to this thing immediately and get a quick preview. If he likes it, he can go buy from the iTunes store. And if I scroll over, we've got some nice effects over here. Let's tap this. Uh, you can send that right over as you can see. And if you scroll one more time, you're going to be able to send photos from the internet. 
So as you can see, you have all these options. These are popular images right now. You can even search if you want. So let's say Ford search, and that brings up some Ford cars. So if I tap this, I can send that picture right to my friend. And that was very quick and easy to do. All right, so we talk about the three icons up here. Let's talk about the rest of the enhancements in the iMessage application. So let's go back over here. And let's say that I want to send something personal to a friend of mine. Let's say I want to say, hey, I appreciate your existence. Alrighty. So if I type that over here, I have several options. I can send this message to my friend in a special way. So to do that, what you want to do is you want to press and hold this one over here. That's going to be the 3D touch. So you have to do a 3D touch on this message. And from here, you have several options. You can do a slam, okay? So that's exactly how the message is going to be sent over to my friend. It's going to be slammed. You can do this one right over here, okay, which is a send with loud feature. Or you can tap this over here, and that's the gentle send. Or you can send this as an invisible ink, okay? So once you pick the option that you want, all you have to do is tap that arrow icon and that's going to send the message over. And once that person receives the message, they can simply glide over the invisible ink and it's going to gradually be revealed to your friend. All right, so here's one more message. It says, happy birthday, love. What you can do here is if you tap the smiley icon right over here, it's going to actually allow you to convert any one of these words there are potential smileys to smileys. They will be highlighted in this color. And once you tap on it, it's going to convert that one um, word into a appropriate smiley. If there's multiple smiley options, you'll get all the options. You just pick the one you want. So let's tap birthday. Oops, right here. And as you can see, there's different options. Let's pick this one and then let's tap on love and you have a couple other options and you can pick this one and you can send this right over. And of course, there's a couple more things left. You can actually tap and hold this icon one more time. If you look on the top here, it says send with effect. You can either do the bubble effects, the ones that I just showed you, the slam, the gentle, the loud and all that stuff, or you can send these things with an actual screen. So if I tap this, you can send balloons, you can send these things right over here, scroll over, the lightning effects, fireworks, and a shooting star. Absolutely fantastic. Let's go back here, let's send, and when you're ready to send, again, just press this button, okay? So scroll over, pick the effect that you want, send it, and this is exactly what your friend's going to see on the other side. Very nice and very personal. And the final two things I wanted to share is if you send a video link in iMessages on iOS 10, it's going to allow you to preview and play that video right in your iMessages screen. Let's run a quick example. So I do have a YouTube video link uh, copied. Let's paste that over and let's send this over to somebody. And as you can see, it generates a preview of that video. And the person on the receiving end or the person on the sending end can actually preview this video by pressing that play button. And it's gonna play the video right in that tiny screen, which is absolutely fantastic. And the final tip, which is also one of my favorites, if you double tap on anything that you receive or send, you can communicate things like this. You can send a heart, you can do a dislike, you can do a like, you can laugh at it. So let's do a like on this video. And as you can see, you will see a tiny like icon right on top. And you can always change that. So let's tap this, let's see you change your uh, uh, mind and you're like, oh, I don't actually like this video. Alrighty, so let's tap it again and you can actually give it a love symbol if you like it. All I can say is great job, Apple. So these are all the tips tricks and features you need to know about iMessage on iOS 10 and hopefully we'll even see some more enhancements in the upcoming releases.
Well, thank you for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to Saki Tech and give this video a thumbs up. Also, follow me on Twitter and Facebook at Saki Tech Online, for which links are in the description below. Have a fantastic day.